In this lesson, we'll continue our review of PSAT Math Test 2, Section 4, Calculator Permitted, Questions 7 through 10. So still relatively early on in this section, not too difficult. Just pay attention and work efficiently and accurately. All right, let's take a look at 7. An advertisement states that the printing rate of a certain printer is 400 characters per second. According to the convention that one word consists of five characters, what would be the advertised printing rate in words per minute? And so this is a unit conversion question. We have, first of all, 400 characters a second, but then we're told that one word consists of five characters. And so let's figure out how many words per second, right? And so we know 400 characters, so we're gonna do 400 divided by five. This is gonna get us words per second, so 400 divided by five, that is 80 words per second. And the question is saying, what would the advertised print rate in words per minute? And so we just take this and multiply it by 60. That looks like 4,800. And the answer is B. All right, let's take a look at question seven. The table above shows the yearly salary in dollars of an employee at a company. Which of the following best describes the type of model that fits the data? So if you look at the choices, we have to determine if it's linear or exponential and what the annual increase is. And so the best way to do this when you have a table like this is just focus on the first increase. Here, we don't know yet if it's linear or exponential. We see that the difference though from 38,000 to 39,140, this is a difference of 1,000. 140. Now the only way it's linear is if every increase of 1 is 1140. And if you look here, you don't even need to use your calculator, but 1140, right, this would be, it would have to be 280, right? It doesn't make any sense with the 314. So we know it's not linear. So let's figure out what the rate of increase is. Remember, whenever you see a question involving increase in rate, the change over the starting amount, the base. And so the change is 1140. That's the change from 38,000 to 39,140. And then we divide by the starting value, the 38,000. This will give us the percent change, 3%. And so it looks to be C. Let's just do one more just to confirm it. I'm almost positive it's 3%. And again, we fun figure out the difference here. So I'm just going to use the calculator so I don't make a mistake. So it's 4314 minus 39,140. This is the difference between years one and two. And now we're gonna divide it by the starting amount in year one, 39,140, 39,140. We're looking for 3% and it's almost exactly 3%. And so that is the answer. It is exponential and 3%, C. All right, let's take a look at question nine. Which of the following is equivalent to the expression above? And so you just have to be careful here. And here we've got to distribute the negative sign. So I'm just going to write this second quantity. So two minuses, so that'll be a plus. So we have x squared y minus a plus. That's a minus. So we have minus 3xy squared and minus a minus is a plus. And so that is 3y squared. And then we want to look. This one doesn't change, right, because there's no uh, we don't have to distribute a sign. So right away I see that, I'm gonna change colors here. I see we've got a three y squared, three y squared here, and I have a minus three y. So these are gonna cancel out. And then we have an x squared y, let me circle it, x squared y. So now we have two of those, so two x squared y. And here, we have a plus five xy squared minus three xy squared. So what's left is gonna be two xy squared. And that's it, the answer is A. And the last one on this page, it's question 10. Which of the following describes the solution for the equation above? And so first, let's combine. So we have four x minus one half x. So that's gonna be three and a half x minus seven. Here we'll distribute the seven. Seven times one half, that's seven halves. That's also three and a halves x minus 49. And so these are gonna cancel out and we're left with minus seven equals minus 49 or seven equals 49. 
Is there any solution where 7 equals 49? It doesn't make any sense at all. So this question, the equation has no solutions, and it's D.